Well, hello everyone. It's Mr. Wasserman, and uh, once again, I am here to uh, help you through another math journal assignment. We are in Unit 3, Lesson 13, the last lesson in Unit 3, and it is comparing decimals. We're on page 102 in our math journals, so let's get started. So the first question asks you to color in each grid to show the decimal. Circle the grid that shows the larger decimal. Okay. So we have 0 0.5 and 0 0.87. Now, before we get started, I want you to look at this decimal right here, 0 0.5. There's one place value to the right of the decimal. That's 5 tenths. Now, over here, we have 0 0.87, which has a tenth and a hundredth. So when we're comparing decimal amounts, it's usually a good idea to have the same number of place value. So I'm just going to draw in a zero as a place value holder. Okay. So now when I compare those two amounts, 0 0.50 0 and 0 0.87, and I line them up by place value, it's very easy to see that 87 hundredths is more than 50 hundredths. But again, as we are learning how to navigate all this, it's helpful if we, um, if we draw some pictures. So I'm going to fill in 5 tenths of the square, otherwise known as 50 hundredths. My coloring will not be perfect, but that's okay. Usually isn't. Okay, and then here will be 87 hundredths, so I have to first block off 80 hundredths, or 8 tenths, and then I'm going to have 7 more, so 87. And if you noticed, I started on the right side of the square, and I worked my way to the left. It really doesn't matter where you begin shading in your squares, as long as 87 of them are shaded in. Uh, it usually helps if they're in columns and rows. Okay. Now, number two has a number line, as, as you can see. It says mark and label each of the following decimals on the number line. 0 0.53, 0 0.7, 0 0.04, 4, and then 0.65. Now again, we have a decimal amount that is missing a place value, and that's 0 0.7. So we're just going to go ahead and write that in with the zero. So instead of... 0 0.7 or 7 tenths, we can recognize it as 70 hundredths. So again, if I read these four amounts, 53 hundredths, 70 hundredths, 4 hundredths, and 65 hundredths, uh, that easily helps us uh, sort them from smallest to largest. Now again, if you recall, when we were looking at uh, centimeters and millimeters, for every one centimeter, there is 10 millimeters. So you can see that there are hash marks in between the zero and this large one right here, the darker one. Um, and the right-hand side of our number line is one. So again, let's add in some decimal points. So it's 1.00. Think about it in terms of dollars. So we have one dollar. And over here on the right, we have no dollars. So I could write that as 0, 0.00. And again, adding zeros to this amount does not change the amount. All it does is that it um, broadens its place value representation. And again, there are zero holes, zero tenths, and zero hundredths. In other words, nothing. Okay. So let's chart those amounts. So again, if this is 0 on the left-hand side and 1 on the right-hand side, every one of these darker uh, hash marks right here, those are going to be tenths. So I can fill that out. 0, 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 for ten hundredths. So for every one tenth, you have ten hundredths. And then you would... If you wanted to continue that, you can mark this as 20 hundredths or 2 tenths and 30 hundredths and so forth. 
But since we're only labeling four amounts, I don't have to go through all that trouble. I can just count the, uh, the darker hash marks to help me. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be filling in is 0 0.53. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This one's 50, 51, 52, 53. So this right here would be 0 0.53. So I'll just shade that one in so it's easy to see. The next one I'm going to do is 0 0.70 or 70 hundredths. So 50, 60, 70, there it is right there. Zero point seven zero or 70 hundredths. Then I'm going to fill in 0 0.65 since I'm in this neighborhood. 0 0.65 would be between the 6 and the 7 or 6 tenths and 7 tenths, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here. 0 0.65. And then I'm going to scroll back all the way to the beginning of my number line on the right-hand side. I'm sorry, my left-hand side. I know my left from right. There we go. You know, Mr. Waspin usually does these videos unscripted. I kind of think about what I want to say, and I just say it. So it's not really scripted. Um, so the occasional uh, flub is just totally uh, accidental. Now, if you ever watch a video of mine and it is flawless, it's usually because I've recorded it made a mistake, so glaring that I had to stop and record again, and usually the, the really good videos are my third or fourth attempts. So here we are with my number line completed from smallest to largest. Now you can use this number line to help you chart uh, these comparisons greater than, equal, or less than. So for example, uh, 0 0.49 compared to 0 0.8, where would those two amounts fall on the number line? I don't actually have to write them out, but I can just kind of look. So 0 0.49 would be almost to 0 0.5. It would be right here. 0 0.49. And of course, 0 0.8 is 8 tenths, otherwise known as 80 hundredths. And of course, 80 hundredths would come after 70 hundredths, which would be right here. So if I was going to use a comparison model using a number line, I would know that 80 hundredths or 8 tenths is more than 49 hundredths. Okay? And again, in your SRBs, you have access to uh, number lines that compare fractions. Uh, it's always good to check your SRB if you're not sure about something. Okay, and then as for the last uh, problem, Austin's teacher asks him to place the decimals 0 0.9 and 0 0.09 on a number line, and this is what he did. Now, just from the, uh, the lesson that I've taught so far with this math journal uh, activity, you probably know that's wrong. The real question is why? Why is it wrong? And that I will leave for you to figure out and put in your own words. Okay? If you have questions, for example, how do I put a response uh, in my own words or uh, comparing decimals or uh, completing a number line, ask your math teacher. That's what they are there for. Uh, they are always happy to help. Otherwise, friends, I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.